Hi, I am Thomas from Shoe Games and I am presenting you a movie player plugin for Unity. It can play back uh, MJPEG uh, video streams inside uh, AVI file containers. It's implemented fully in managed code, uh, so it works in free Unity. It also works in Pro. Uh, and it's uh, fast enough uh, for uh, playing back uh, uh, 720p uh, videos. Okay, we have this empty project here. And the first thing to do is to import this uh, movie player uh, package that I have here. Okay. Import. Okay, now what we have here is um, we have uh, one sample movie. It's uh, Sintel. It's um, made by Blender Foundation. Then we also have uh, some sample scenes that we take a look at and we have a lot of scripts that actually do the heavy lifting. Okay, let's open up this feature demo. Uh, inside the scene we have uh, just one script that uh, deals with uh, UI. We have camera, nothing interesting here. And then we have this movie player cube. Here we have um, this component here, movie player component. The Sintel movie is assigned here and uh, this component will play it back. And if I press play then we are able to see it. What brings you to the land of the gatekeepers? I'm searching for someone. <laughs> A dangerous quest for a lone hunter. I've been alone. So uh, this is how it works. It uh, basically just uh, uh, loads the file from a disk or it may be preloaded into uh, memory if you're using uh, text assets uh, inside Unity and then it uh, decodes it uh, and uh, displays it uh, uh, either uh, directly on the screen using uh, one GUI method or it can also play it um, into a texture uh, that you can use uh, wherever you uh, need to. Okay, and the cool thing is that uh, the searching is really fast and the loading uh, happens really fast. The memory footprint is also very small because it uh, streams the video, it doesn't preload it. So you can use it for uh, files that are up to 2 gigabytes. And it has a few options that you can play with. And you can download uh, this uh, demo project uh, where you have this uh, feature demo scene in it and you can check it out yourself later. Okay, let's, let's stop this for a second and take a look how to uh, make your movies uh, playable uh, with movie player inside Unity. Uh, for this purpose I have downloaded one uh, animated music video made by YouTube user Tensa Sangets X. Uh, I link it below. And uh, uh, what we have to do is we have to uh, we encode it using MJPEG codec. For this I use FFM page package uh, but you can use uh, any other package that uh, can export MJPEG with the streams in AVI containers. Uh, we have to specify the video codec. And I'm also specifying the quality. 
without this uh, it will produce uh, quite uh, low quality video I don't want that Currently, only PCM uh, audio codecs are supported, so uh, I have to re encode the uh, audio too. Okay, and uh, it should be done in, a, in any minute. Okay, here we have it, encoded movie. Uh, one way to play it back uh, in Unity is, um, is to load it uh, on runtime. Uh, I can demonstrate it uh, using this feature demo. I just copied uh, the directory location here. Now, if we start this uh, feature demo, we can press L and enter directory here and uh, load uh, this movie that we just uh, encoded. And it works. Another way uh, is to uh, actually copy this movie into the assets as folder of your uh, Unity project. Let's do it right now. Okay, I have it here. Uh, if you just keep the AVI extension, then Unity uh, tries to import it as a movie texture, but we don't want that, so we have to add bytes to the end of file name. This way Unity uh, will treat it as text asset and uh, import it so that we can use it. And um, okay, now it is in here. It's this file here. Uh, to demonstrate how it works, I create a new scene. Um, I create game object just an empty game object. Add the movie player component to it. Track this movie that I just created here. Uh, tick play button, tick loop button so that it will start uh, playing back uh, when, I, when I start uh, start the scene. And I take this uh, draw on screen uh, so that it uses um, the on GUI method to, to show this movie uh, on full screen and le let it fill the screen. Press play. Here it is. This movie player component here uh, added uh, the audio source automatically. Uh, you can uh, add uh, audio source uh, yourself if you want to tweak the parameters here, but you don't have to. Um, and okay, Make it a bit smaller. And you can use uh, this component here to. Uh, control uh, almost all aspects of uh, how, how the movie is played back. You can seek, play, pause, and see some statistics while the movie is playing. Yeah, that's how it works. It's very easy to use this component, uh, but uh, I'll point out uh, a few things that are not obvious uh, by just uh, looking at those properties here. 
uh, for this script to work uh, you have to have this uh, movie uh, signed here it uh, has to be a text asset if bytes extension so it's treated as binary asset actually uh, then this uh, audio source here you don't have to specify it uh, if you don't have it here then uh, the audio uh, that is inside the AVI file is used but uh, you can use uh, any audio clip in Unity to override the audio that is in AVI file this can be useful for example when you want a better compression of the audio clip because uh, right now uh, only PCM formats uh, can be played back in AVI files uh, this uh, other material here is where the frame buffer texture is assigned to. Uh, this can be useful when you have uh, some uh, object in a scene where you want to play back the video, uh, but uh, you don't want the movie player component uh, to be directly attached to that. So you can just create the material and uh, drag it here and drag it on that object. Uh, this one here is just a texture property name uh, that is used to assign the texture to the material. Uh, preload audio. Mm, if you tick this, then uh, all the audio in the AVI is uh, preloaded into memory. And if the AVI file is uh, long, then this can be a few hundred megabytes uh, easily. So usually you don't want to uh, tick it. 3D sound is just a, an audio clip option that makes the sound to be played inside a, like a 3D world so you can turn and the sound will be on the left of you so it is like a position dependent sound then uh, draw on screen is uh, if you make a tick here then uh, the movie is played uh, back uh, using uh, GUI draw texture method and you have a few options here from which you can choose from how to actually show it. Uh, those um, uh, properties here that have this small mark up here, uh, you can't uh, change them uh, on runtime. If you change them on runtime, then you have to reload. You have this button for it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And if you want to uh, use, uh, if you don't want to use this movie player script, but uh, want to play back AVI files uh, uh, directly, then it, and this is also possible. Inside this movie player uh, package, you have scripts that you can uh, directly use to decode uh, the AVI files. Uh, probably the most useful is a uh, movie player util class. Here you have methods for loading and uh, like initializing the decoders and uh, AVI Dmax uh, classes and, and such. Uh, this is the movie player plugin for Unity. I have uh, links uh, for it below so you can check it out. And uh, thanks for uh, watching.